Hi guys, time for another paper aeroplane from the complete book of paper aeroplanes by David Woodruff that cost me £1.25 at Cancer Research UK charity shop. It really is the wrong time of day to do this with the strong shadows and bright sunlight. I'll try and position this so you can see the folding instructions. Right, okay, so what I do is I copy those instructions and fold off a piece of scrap paper. What you could do is rip that page out and follow the, uh, the folds there, but if you do that, you take away the instructions for the next page. So you either start from the back and work forwards, or you photocopy the page, or you do what I'm doing, which is copy the folds. So, um, we do need to do some cutouts on this, but I'll leave that until near the end. Of that, I can make a mess of just folding a piece of paper. I don't know whether you can see any better if I do it here or not. That sunlight is just in the wrong place at the moment, so, wrong time of day to do this. I suppose I could try and move the table, but I'm not going to. Right, we've done that. I can never tell whether I folded that the right way or the wrong way. We'll find out. Next, fold the top edge that way. then unfold. Okay. Alright, I want to bring fold the top corners diagonal into the center. Well, that's just that. Or is that because they want it to fold the opposite direction? So, yeah, I think that's what that is. They want the fold line or the crease to have been folded in both directions. Oh, that looks complicated. Hang on, I think that picture's wrong. Yeah, that picture's wrong. That's supposed to be... That corner down to there, I reckon. Looking at that fold line. Mistaken the instructions. I think so. I'm trying to get this. Those got fold in. Like that.
No, I'm not getting this. What are they saying? I mean, that just looks like that fold. see that I'll come back a bit so that's back to there and then those in so that comes down like that and then that one folds up to there into the middle That one folds up there into the middle. That one folds. losing me again it's going to be one of those again isn't it It's got to come up. Done similar folds before where it goes. Ah, it's that one. I've got to remember that. That's it. That's it. I'd forgotten that, that one. I'd let it flip back up again. So, that one that way, then like that. in a little bit. That's not perfect, Grandad. I seem to have had a bit of a slight out of alignment there. But we've got it. That's what we wanted. Turn it over. Fold that one back to where that fold is on there. And then fold that way. Oh, hang on. Oh, 
Yeah, that's right. I'm not 100% sure though. I think we'll get it right, but it won't be perfect. Let's make these line up. Make them line up, and the rest of it should line up. Right, now we're going to do that bit of cutting that I was on about. favourite ruler that's got centimetres on one side and inches on the other because if we measure on here in centimetres and then use half inches on there we get the right dimensions so from the bottom four centimetres which on here will be four half inches which is two inches and from the bottom up to there, 4.6 centimetres. Oh, how far in is it? That's 2.3. Point three from there, but we've got another fold. Oh, come on, Grandad. That's three and a half. And there. And there. That bit was one and a quarter. It's going to be about there. So that is actually our fold line for the body. It's going to be along there. Right. Four point five on there to there. So that's that one. Measure that from there. Seven, which is three and a half on there. That we can do that. Two. Be an inch on here. And that one's about three quarters. Okay. Those are going to be just over a centimetre, one point, one point two. Oh, 
those are quite big flaps. Right, scissors. That one. That one. Always seems to be cheating to me if you actually have to cut them. all the cuts. So now we've got to fold this fella on that line. There we go. Let's just give that a that is a great big elevator that. I'm sure that's far more than it's ever gonna need. So pull them back down again. Right. That shows a bit of sticky tape across there. How about a little bit of glue? Gonna come out. All right, I'll just hold that till it's dried, and then uh, we'll try it out. We'll give it a little try in the garden. It's gusty wind, so sometimes it's still, and sometimes it's blowing around. called Apache Fighter. Well, I have to say I was disappointed. I really like the look of this one, but I just couldn't get a good flight out of it. Certainly not a standard. It was spinning. I ended up putting these wing tips facing down and that cured it. So, probably the way I built it, that was probably wrong somehow, but putting the wing tips down instead of being straight, that uh, got it flying straight for me. I think these great big flaps or elevators on the back were a bad idea, and that's what it showed on the diagram, but if I'd have left them alone, the tail would have been much stiffer. 
but because they've been cut there, it's quite flexible. So, obviously I'll have shown you the best flights, but I took a lot of flights to try and get it to fly right. So, disappointing. Good shape, like the shape, folded nicely with a little cockpit on there. But performance was less than good. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.